Welcome to our lecture online and here we're going to talk about integration and of course integration is a huge topic in calculus and it's going to take many many lessons to get through all this but you got to start somewhere and this is our beginning we're going to learn how to integrate a constant and here's the, the general um, format of integrating a constant let's say that a is a constant and the x is the differential with, the, with respect to the variable x. And the rule always is that you can move the constant outside the integral sign. So this can be written as a times the integral of dx. And by definition, the integral of dx is equal to x plus a constant of integration. So this is equal to a times x plus some constant of integration. I'll call that c1. And then when you multiply a times x and a times c1, this gives you ax plus a times c1 and you can just combine these two since both of these are constants you can write this as ax plus c and that's the integral form of the constant a times dx so to illustrate that with some examples here we go so we have the integral of 5 dx so this is equal to 5 times the integral of dx and by definition the integral of dx is x plus a constant multiplied times 5 so we get 5 times x plus the constant c. c is always what they call the constant of integration. Why is that constant there? By the way, well, it turns out if you take the derivative of this, the derivative of 5x gives you 5, and the derivative of c gives you 0, and the, so the constant disappears when you take the derivative, and integrating is what they call the antiderivative, so when you don't know what the value of the constant was when you took the derivative, when you then go the other way, you just have to say, well, there was some constant there, perhaps, doesn't have to be, and since we don't know what it is, we'll just write it as the constant c. That's where that comes from. Here, our second example, of course, pi is a constant, so we can move that outside integral sign, so it's equal to minus pi times the integral of dy, and so this then becomes equal to minus pi times y plus a constant of, of integration. And finally, let's say that a and b are two constants, they're added together. We can move that outside integral sign, so this can be written as a plus b times the integral of dz. And of course, the integral of dz is z plus a constant, so this becomes a plus b times the variable z plus a constant of integration. And that's how you integrate a constant. All right, that was easy. Now we'll go on to the next, the next, the next step. And if you, if you follow the next so many lessons, you can see that it gets quite complicated. But if we do everything in a particular rule, in a particular way, it'll become manageable. All right, so let's move on to the next example. 